All right, I hereby call to order this regularly scheduled meeting of the Sunderland Select Board. Our first order of business today uh, at 6.30 p.m. Um, our first order of business today will be to approve the minutes from no November 13th, 2023. So moved. Second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded to accept the minutes from November 13th, 2023. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye, three nothing. Thank you. All right, up first on new business, we have uh, for year 24, sewer usage fees, user fees. Yep, so <clears throat> annually we budget a certain amount that we pay for the wastewater treatment plant services that are provided, and then we divide that budget amount by the number of uh, sewer units um, at each property. So there have been no changes in the number of sewer units, uh, still 1,266. Uh, the wastewater treatment plant budget for fiscal 24 was 424,165, uh, resulting in a $335.05 uh, sewer user charge per unit, which is an $18.42 increase over last year. Okay. And that's by unit where, so that's like apartment complexes are? are the, yeah, the number of bathrooms and the number of like uh, washer dryer hookups, those things. Okay. So yeah, yep. there would be multiple in an apartment. Gotcha. All right. Um, and you just need a, a vote to accept that? Yeah. Uh, yes, a vote to set the uh, sewer rate at 335.05 per unit. All right. I will entertain a motion. So moved. Second. We have a motion made and seconded to accept the rate of what Jeff said. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. Yep. Beautiful. All right. Uh, next up, we have our 2024 holiday schedule. Yes. <clears throat> and amazingly, there are no Friday holidays in 2024 that we, that we recognize. So everything is going to be on the actual holiday. Uh, New Year's Day, January 1st. Um, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, January 15th, President's Day, February 19th, Patriot's Day, April 15th, Memorial Day, May 27th, Juneteenth, June 19th, Independence Day, July 4th, Labor Day, September 2nd, Columbus Day, October 14th, Veterans Day, November 11th, Thanksgiving, November 28th, uh, Christmas Day, December 25th, and New Year's Day, 2025, January 1st, 2025. Cool. Um, and just for clarification, the last couple of years since Juneteenth was made into a town holiday, we had to give, we had to vote to give that to employees whose contracts didn't stipulate. That's correct. Right. Usually the police officers. Yeah. Um, are we going to need to do that again this year, or is their, their, their contract, your, your union contract is up? Yes. This year, so potentially that could just be worked into that contract going forward. Again. Yes, I would imagine that that would be one of the requests. Okay. All right. Um, so you just need us to vote to accept the holiday schedule as presented? Yes. All right. I will entertain a motion to accept the 2024 holiday schedule as presented. I motion we accept the holiday schedule as presented. Second. All right. We have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. All right. <clears throat> uh, next up, we have the backhoe lease agreement. Are we putting that one off till next week, or do you want us to still vote on that? Um, I, I would prefer if we could just appoint either the chair or somebody else to sign the lease agreement in case we get it done before then and can get it signed. Okay. Um, just so everybody knows it's uh, six annual payments of $34,220 and, oh, no, I'm sorry. Yes, $34,220 and 63 cents. Um, <clears throat> and the total uh, Price is $179,000. Um, this is for the backhoe. So similar to the truck that we leased, I think that lease was seven years. This is going to be for six years. And then at the end of that time, we would own the backhoe. Okay. Um, all right. So I would entertain a motion to appoint the chair. Myself, so just, or, yeah. sorry. just question on that. <clears throat> we don't have to take out a loan or anything to make those lease payments. Correct. What we would do is um, appropriate capital funds every mm -hmm. year, or that's what we've yep. done in the past. Yep. I just want to, you know, yep. Yep. I know there's always the big question of what does the town have for loans currently, and 
that won't be. And, and if I'm remembering correctly, this was part of the capital month plan we came up with last yeah. year that, yep. that's already built into what we have. Okay. Absolutely. Great. Um, all right, so I would entertain a motion to appoint uh, the chair to sign the back hole lease agreement when it is ready to do so. So moved. Second. All right, we have motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three nothing. All right, next up is the appointment of a member uh, of the board to the police union negotiating team. Yep. Um, as you mentioned, the police uh, union contract is up at the end of the fiscal year, June 30th. Um, Typically in December, we sit down and start talking about ground rules and <clears throat> start negotiating the next agreement. Um, in the, at least since I've been here, um, there's been a select board member and it's just been a select board member, myself and the chief of police um, representing the town and the union president and vice president representing the union um, and just meeting weekly or every other week um, going back and forth until we bring it back to the select board for a final agreement. Sure. Is, it, is it always annual or is it? Uh, it's a three year contract. It's a three year, yep. okay. 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 Um, I would be happy to be the member for that. Does anyone else have any interest in doing so? I am perfect with you taking it. <laughs> All right. Um, in that case, at this time, I would entertain a motion to appoint myself to be the uh, select board member who is going to be negotiating on behalf of the town for the police contract. I motion that Nathaniel be the select board member negotiating with the police union. Second. All right. We have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. Great. Thank you. All right. Last up for new business is the cable TV license agreement renewal process. Yes. So <clears throat> um, every 10 years, or I think the last one was 10 years, uh, there's a town wide agreement with a cable provider. Um, Sunderland is currently um, in an agreement with Comcast and that expires December 11th, 2026 and usually about three years before the contract expires. Um, the town starts doing their due diligence on are we happy with cable provider, um, what would we like to change, those types of things. Um, this is more of a heads up. I've reached out to the Department of Cable, Telecommunications and Cable. Um, they have a position called the Municipal Liaison that's supposed to walk us through this process. So um, I put this on the agenda and then I found out about the Municipal Liaison. So I think they'd probably do a much better job of outlining the process. Um, you know, some towns have cable advisory committees that the select board appoints to advise them on, on the contract. and. Um, but I, I would want somebody who's more familiar with the process to, to come in and maybe help advise us on, on how to move forward. But I did want to mention that that's coming up in the next, over the next three years. Okay. Great. Yeah, let us know what, what the um, consultant says in terms of what he want, whether they want to come out and meet with us or whatever it is. Just keep us a keep surprise on that. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. That is it for new business. Um, on to old business, select board updates. Um, I have nothing this week. Crystal? All I have is next week we're um, doing interviews for the chief's position for South County EMS. So that should be happening soon. And hopefully we'll have a new chief soon. Excellent. I do not have anything this week. Wonderful. Thank you, Dan. All right, um, that's it for select board updates then. Over to you, Jeff, for town ministry updates. Yep, uh, just one thing this week, which is on Friday, um, <coughs> residents who are participating in the Community Choice Energy Aggregation Program will be receiving a new postcard. The initial term was a two-year contract that expires January 1st. We've signed a new contract. Um, the rates are higher, but still lower than uh, the Eversource rates, a little bit lower. <laughs> and we think that the, the, when the summer rates come, um, they'll be even lower. But uh, just we'll, we'll have information on the website. Uh, like I said, there'll be a postcard. But if anybody has questions, feel free to give me a call uh, here at Town Hall, and I'll do my best to answer them. Great. Thank you. Is that it from you? That's it. Yeah.
All right, um, so this time we're going to um, go into executive session pursuant to Mass General Law, Chapter 30A, Section 21A, Paragraph 2, to conduct strategy sessions in preparation for negotiations with the police chief. Do I need to call a vote to do that? Uh, roll call vote. Okay. Uh, so Wait, roll call. Do we? Uh, yeah. Yeah, roll call vote to go, and then we need to, to roll call back to back into. Um, and then we will call ourselves back into public session just to adjourn at the end. Uh, so this time, I would entertain a motion to go to executive session. I motion we adjourn to its executive session. Second. Second. All right, we've motion been seconded. Uh, roll call vote. Aye. Crystal Drake Trumpi. Aye. Aye. Nathaniel G. Waring. And aye. Dan Murphy. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much.